Hi, I'm Mark, Training Manager at Vera Control, and welcome back to my Vera Connected Smart Home. Today, we're going to talk about scenes. A few episodes ago, we talked about modes and how with one button press, it allows you to change the state of any and all of the devices in your house just by pressing that one button. Well, scenes allow us to really tailor the control of our home around our lifestyle. Now, let me give you an example. In my house, my wife doesn't like getting home to a dark house in the wintertime. So 15 minutes before sunset, every single day, my front light and two lamps in my living room turn on automatically. A few minutes before it's time for my children to go up to bed, I have these upstairs lights turn on so that my family doesn't come upstairs to a dark hallway. Once we're all comfortable and cozy in bed, I have another scene that runs that turns off the two lamps in the living room, turns off the front light, and automatically locks the front door. It also turns off the lights in the upstairs hallway and arms a motion sensor that I have up here in the upstairs hallway. Then I run another scene that uses the motion sensor as a trigger, and I'll explain how we use triggers in just a second, that if anybody is up walking around in the middle of the night, when the motion sensor detects motion, it turns on these hallway lights at 7%, so nobody's fumbling around in the dark to find their way around. So let's talk about what makes up a scene. The first thing that we have to do in setting up a scene is choose a trigger. And there's three types of triggers that we can use. We can use a device, like the motion sensor in my upstairs hallway, when it senses motion to have another device do something. We can use a schedule, so set it on a specific time of day, or use sunrise or sunset in a certain amount of time before or after as a trigger, or we can use a physical button press through any of the user interfaces to make a scene happen. Then the second step in setting up a scene is choosing the devices that we want to have do something in that scene. So an example would be my two living room lamps, so I would select those two devices and have them set to turn on. And I can select with lighting what percentage I want it to turn on at. The last part of step two, device actions, is we have the option of adding a delayed action. So in the scene that we were talking about, after 10 minutes, the light turned off. So I can, with a delayed action, have it happen immediately or I can have it wait for a certain amount of time. I then have to select the device that I want to have something happen to. In this case, it's going to be the same device as it was before, but it doesn't have to be. And then, what do I want to have happen? I want to have the dimmable switch turn off. Then the third aspect in setting up a scene is choosing what modes we want the scene to be active in. So if there's a scene that we don't want to have happen in a way mode, we just deselect that from the modes associated to that particular scene. Then we select if we want to have notifications associated with the scene and who we want to have get those notifications. And then finally, we're going to name the scene so that we, you know, upstairs nightlight so we know what it is. So you can see how simple and easy it is to configure a scene, but the level of control that it gives you to really configure your house around your lifestyle is just tremendous. In future episodes, I'll be exploring lots of different things that you can do with scenes. But if there's something that you would like to see me talk about, email me training at getbira.com. Now remember, at Bira Control, it's not about what we can do, it's about what you don't have to do.